Okay, so this should be a little video about the E10 or similar quadcopters or how to use them with the Tyrannus with this little guy over here. So normally you have two opinions to fly a mini quadcopter coming from China. Number one, you use it with those little things with really crappy gimbals which are hard to use and not really very soft. Or you buy something like the QX90 which has a FR Sky module built in. It's li this little thing here on the downside. Um, today I want to show you something new coming from Banggood and it's this little thing. So it's actually a multi-protocol receiver and sender um, which is sold for like 10 bucks on Banggood. Um, come on, start focusing. Wait a second. Uh, ah, there we go. Um, it's very very little and it fits into a uh, um, slot at the Tyrannus bag. Um, I'll show you in just a second. So um, the, the great opportunity is to fly almost every China model you can imagine with this little thing. So you can fly the Suma or any Hoopsan copter or these Ichin copters, uh, Inductic clones, Inductrix clones, excuse me. And um, so it's very easy to use, you can fly everything with it and you don't have to use those little crappy um, modules over here which use two AA batteries and don't work too well. Also the range is like 100 meters so you can fly a little bit more than with those little things which make like 30-40 meters. Okay, so let's turn the Tyrannus. I'll show you the installation, it's quite easy. You just open the slot over here and you'll see some pins. The only thing you have to do is put this on here and ta-da, it's plugged in. If you want to see if it works, you simply start your Tyrannus. Escalation. There you are, pull down and then you'll see a solid green light. Uh, in the first seconds it will <laughs> in the first seconds it will blink a little bit but um, after some time it will get solid green and the next step is a little bit in software I'll show you in the next step so you go on menu create a new model which you can do by simply adding another one on your list create model you go to quadcopter because it's it's totally fine with the uh, standard settings. Change the pages to the final page. Enter long to confirm and there you have your new model. You go to page 1. Scroll down all complete. Go up to the internal RF. You can just disable it because you don't need it. And the external RF you have to enable. You're going to PPN channel 1 to channel 12 ah, this way there you go and then that's it you can double check it going to page 6 and the um, sequence order should be AETR and it's Aileron Elevator Throttle Rudder there you are that's totally fine next step you have to do is shut down your Tyrannus then you should turn on your little E10. Oh, I have to put you away for that. Okay, there I have the E10 powered on. Next, I power on the Tyrannus. Yeah, don't disturb me with that. There we have our new model. Um, the LED is... Oops. Oops, I bound it before, so um, that's why it's starting. There's our green LED. And um, next step you have to do is, whoops, leave this down, put it to the right, and also you have to put this to the right and this down. So doing this, oh, I'm Captain Uno right now, <laughs> and like this, the uh, transmitter in the back knows what protocol they should use. So this is the for the E10 and some JJRC models, whatever. There are like 20 different protocols it can do, and uh, every, every protocol has different settings. So right now I have the E10 settings on here, but if you do another stick order you can change it whatever. 
and uh, the module knows which was your last setting so you don't have to put it into uh, e e E10 mode again whatever so and there you go do you see something? it's flying <laughs> that's as easy as it, as it will get with uh, China quadcopters at last a little shout out to the github user uh, Gerbisch. He made uh, the software for this uh, component and used it on his Arduino Wi-Fi um, module before. So um, Banggood actually uses his software without um, calling him out. So this is my job now. Thank you for creating this and for everybody using this module. Have fun using it and good flying.